Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine we have an example where the button could be disabled, could be not disabled. So if it's enabled like here, you want to click on it and confirm that the message becomes clicked. But you don't want to click it if it's disabled. So how could we do this? Let's get the button. So right now it gets the button and it could be enabled or disabled. So we can probably get the jQuery object with a button right here and you know, we can check if it has attribute disabled if button btn adder disabled is equal disabled then we know it's disabled and we can say uh, not clicking else we want to click and we want to use cypress click command so it checks if it's visible not just if it's disabled or not so we will wrap that jquery object and we'll say click and let's see if it works okay so it was enabled we wrapped it, we clicked on it, and we can confirm with the same button as text clicked, right? Or we can say could have text clicked, right? Because we're using the same button. Okay, disabled, not click. This is fine, but I like a slightly different approach. jQuery has a built-in method called is. And right here, if we have uh, the jQuery object, we can say if is and pass the pseudo jQuery selector because this is what we are asking, right? And if it's enabled, then we want to click, right? If it's not, then we don't want to click. So it kind of wraps and makes the intention of our test much clearer. Now, if we're getting a jQuery object just to invoke a method is, we can do it right in the Cypress command chain by using sci invoke command. The method name is is and the arguments, well, we only have a single argument and it's enabled. So now instead of jQuery, we get a Boolean enabled and we can say if enabled. Now, in this case, we don't have a jQuery object anymore, but that's not a big deal. Just grab it again. Okay, so not clicking, not clicking. Okay, the button was enabled, so invoking is enabled, return true, yielded to the next command. And unfortunately, the sign invoke doesn't show the arguments. So it's kind of missing, I think, in the command log. But this is the test that could conditionally click on the button. It checks if the button exists, then gets the enabled status, and depending on the enable value does either one cypress command or does cell log not clicking you can find this example and lots more on my cypress example site that i will link in the description of this video